Please stand for the presentation of the colors. Advance the colors. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Scout salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. You may be seated. scout is a scout tells the truth they keep their promises honesty is a part of their code of conduct people can depend on them a scout is true to their family Scout leaders, friends, school, and nation. A scout is concerned about other people. They do things willingly for others without pay or reward. A scout is a friend to all. They are a brother or sister to other scouts. They seek to understand others. They respect those with ideas and customs other than their own. A scout is polite to everyone, regardless of age or position. They know good manners, make it easier for people to get along with each other. A scout understands their strength in being gentle. They treat others as they want to be treated. They do not hurt or kill harmless things without reason. A scout follows the rules of their family, school, and troop. They obey the laws of their community and country. If they think these rules and laws are unfair, they try to have them changed in an orderly manner rather than disobey them. A scout looks for the bright side of things. They cheerfully perform tasks that come their way. They try to make others happy. A scout works to pay their way and to help others. They save for unforeseen needs. They protect and conserve natural resources. They carefully use time and property. A scout can face danger, even if they are afraid. They have the courage to stand for what they think is right, even if others laugh at or, at or threaten them. A 
A scout keeps their body and mind fit and clean. They go around with those who believe in, the sa in these same ideals. They keep their home and community clean. A scout is reverent toward God. They are faithful in their religious duties. They respect the beliefs of others. I would like to welcome you to the Troop 50 Eagle Scout Corps of Honor. It is my pleasure to introduce our Scoutmaster and Eagle Scout Brian Bruce, who is Master of Ceremonies of this Court of Honor. Thank you, Aiden, and well done, Scouts. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our troop chaplain, Pastor John Partridge, who will lead us in our invocation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for Scouts who are willing to learn and grow and pursue goals, even when they are hard. We give thanks for leaders and parents, mentors, and others who are willing to share their time, their experience, and their wisdom. We ask your blessing this evening on our time together as we celebrate the achievement of one of our own scouting family and the success of this scout and all who guided him and helped him on his journey. Amen. Amen. Scout candidate, Michael Burst, please come forward. This is the voice of the eagle, the eagle whose heights you have struggled hard to reach. We remember well when you first came to the base of the cliff and how you looked up with ambition and determination. Look back for a moment. Look down the cliff you have climbed. Look at the experiences you have encountered in your ascent. These experiences should not be forgotten. You should profit by making sure adverse experiences do not occur again. Experience is a valuable teacher if you heed its teachings. We remember when you took your first step upon the trail that leads upward. With that first step, you began to grow physically, mentally, and morally. You started living the scout oath and law. All the while you were on the trail, we watched you study, and we saw you learn by doing. Upon joining, you were only a scout. At that time, you began working hard on your requirements to reach the tenderfoot rank, the first ledge on the trail to Eagle. Before long, your fellow scouts were calling you a tenderfoot, and they were right. You were indeed a tenderfoot scout. Soon you reached the second ledge, and there you were greeted by a large group of second-class scouts. Some, like you, stopped to catch their breath before continuing along the trail. You began to study more, you worked harder, and almost before you knew it, you came to another ledge, the ledge where the first class scouts dwell. There you found a tempting green meadow by a crystal clear stream bathed in the sun. There you were tempted to remain. Yes, you could have remained there to live the first class scout glory, but your ambition spurred you on. We remember your advancement to Star Scout. The trail from first class to star rank was not as difficult as it had seemed. This spurred you on, and again you climbed higher. The trail was steeper and less worn. 
fewer scouts seemed to have been headed in your direction. You looked down and saw the crowds below you. You looked up and saw a few above you, and with the same determination with which you started your climb, you continued up the trail. Soon, you earned the badge of life rank. The heart badge was then placed on your uniform. You will never forget your thoughts at that moment. This feeling has been experienced by all scouts on reaching the ledge of life scout. The trail became tougher, but more interesting. The original principles, the scout oath and law, now had a fuller meaning. Your understanding of them was deeper, yes, we have watched your character unfold and become more positive. We have watched your leadership expand into a valuable asset. We have watched your mind develop and your wisdom increase. We have watched all these things in you. And now that you are at the threshold of your goal, we welcome you. Scouts may be seated. The presentation of the Eagle Scout badge is an important and serious event, the climax and the goal for which a scout works many years, an occasion for pride and joy, a time for serious contemplation. It is the culmination of efforts of the various leaders of this scout. At this time, would any and all of the leaders who played a role in Michael's journey in scouting please rise to be recognized? Thank you for your dedication to scouting and to the success of all scouts. Let's give them a round of applause. The Eagle Scout Award is the highest and most coveted rank in scouting, the last major step in the advancement program. Fewer than 4% of all scouts in the United States reach the Eagle Scout rank. At this point, we trust you have achieved our purpose in the building of character, training of leadership, and the practice of serving. The requirements for the Eagle Scout rank are as follows. Be active in your troop and patrol for at least six months as a life scout. Demonstrate scout spirit by living the scout oath and law in your everyday life. Earn 21 merit badges including the 13 that are required. First aid, citizenship in the community, citizenship in the nation, citizenship in the world, communication, cooking, personal fitness, emergency preparedness or life-saving, environmental science or sustainability, personal management, swimming or hiking or cycling, camping, camping and family life. Serve actively in an approved position of responsibility for a period of six months after becoming a Life Scout. Plan, develop, and lead others in carrying out a service project worthy of an Eagle Scout. Take part in a Scoutmasters Conference. Appear before a board of review of prominent persons and satisfy them that you have done your best to understand and live up to the Scout Oath and Law and in all ways qualify for the Eagle Scout Award. Is there anyone here who can speak to those who would seek to challenge the validity of the completion of these requirements? Careful examination has been made by the court to the qualification of this applicant for the Eagle Scout Award. Proficiency in the various crafts and skills prescribed for the Eagle Scout rank has been checked, and the records of merit badges earned by the Scout have been approved and certified by the counselors appointed by the court. Scout candidate Michael Thomas Burse has demonstrated his capacity and willingness to exert leadership in activities that are constructive and worthwhile in his community. The record has been checked in troop leadership, school affairs, and in other fields of work and service. He has demonstrated loyalty and duty to God and country. 
we believe that he is qualified to receive the rank of Eagle Scout. This is the voice of the Eagle. I speak for the Eagle Scouts of this council. We challenge the Scout to accept the responsibilities as well as the honor of the Eagle Scout Award. These responsibilities are as follows. An Eagle Scout is to live with honor. Their honor is sacred. It is the foundation of all character. An Eagle Scout will live so that they reflect credit upon their home, place of worship, school, friends, and self. May the white of your badge remind you to live with honor. An Eagle Scout is to be loyal. To thine own self be true, and it must follow, as the night the day thou canst not then be false to any person. Neither pain nor profit, pride nor personal loss shall sway their loyalty. The blue on your badge is the emblem of loyalty. An Eagle Scout is to be courageous. Courage gives all character force and strength. With trust in God and faith in their fellow man, they reach each day unafraid and seeks their share of the world's work to do. Let the red of your badge remind you of courage. Finally, an Eagle Scout is service-oriented. Extend a helping hand to those who toil along the scouting trail you have completed, just as others have aided you. The daily good turn must take on a new meaning and better the life pattern of service. Protect and defend the weak and helpless. Comfort the unfortunate and oppressed. Uphold the rights of others as well as your own. Remember, real leadership is founded upon real service. In recognition of these obligations, I ask you to reaffirm the Scout Oath. Scout applicant, please escort your parents and brothers to the front. We now proclaim to all the world your accomplishments. The symbol of your success is the Eagle Scout badge and neckerchief, which will now be presented to your parents. They, in turn, will place the pin and badge over your heart and the neckerchief around your neck. Afterwards, they may also choose to say a few words about your journey to Eagle.
<laughs> See, it's things like watching the baby put that on. It's like, it's kind of killing me a little bit. <laughs> I've been trying really hard not to, not to cry, but it's going to be an ugly day. I'm sorry. That I can promise. Uh, it kind of started this morning when, um, so... <laughs> If, if, if you know uh, how things go at our house, things are a little behind, meaning that um, <laughs> I just finished Michael's Cub Scout uniform today. <laughs> um, and because, you know, they, these things got, they, they got passed around, they got passed down. So it was, it wasn't quite finished. And, and I, I, put, I put the world crest on and realized as I was putting it on that the fleur-de-lis on, on the breast was the first badge that I had put on. I don't even, like, I, it, <laughs> I, this, is, this, is, this is terrible because uh, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not ready for my babies to be big. And, and well, that's too late for that, but... Um, <laughs> uh, but it's been uh, it's been a privilege to watch you grow up, and sometimes sometimes it was hard. Sometimes it was really really difficult because our personalities sometimes conflicted, and 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 so but. But when I look back and I think about those, those personality traits that were like, I, I, thought, I thought of you as stubborn but, and, and, and bossy. But then when, when you turn those around and see what he was able to do, his stubbornness turned into persistence. And, and he pushed through. Like, we weren't, he wasn't allowed to quit. There was, no, there was no quitting. We didn't allow that to happen. So then he turned it around. He turned it around and, and he persisted. And his bossiness turned into leadership. And when I was looking back at, at the pictures, it was, it was so cool to see him after, after he had gotten through the steps of, of being a tiger and, and, and all the cub scouting adventures, seeing him as a scout, then helping the younger scouts and, and showing the leadership and passing the leadership on. And I'm just, I, I wasn't there for, you know, his, his, early, his early years because I had, you know, lots of kids, lots of, lots of scouts. We had lots of scouts. So um, I wanted to thank the Dicers for, um, for starting Michael on his scouting journey. Um, I'm just so thankful that you were there before I even knew what scouting was. I had really no idea. The only experience I had with scouting was, was seeing um, Brian's eagle ceremony and I had no idea what was going on. That was like, I don't even, that was like way early in our relationship. I had no idea what scouting was. Um, and then when Michael started, I still was kind of fuzzy on the whole process. But as, as, we, as we moved along and I got to see him, at, at that time they were still earning beads um, they don't earn beads anymore. They earn the belt loops. You don't have any belt loops. Sorry, kid. Um, but, right, right. Yeah, you're old. 
Um, but just this, this process and, and the growth that I've seen and the leadership skills that, that he's gained and those personality traits that sometimes we saw as, as kind of a negative and a small child have turned into really, really positive traits for you as a grown up. I see, I see in you determination and I see in you um, a born leader and a brilliant, brilliant young man. And I can't wait to see where you go. And it, uh, it, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm a sap. I'm going to cry. It's what I do. I'm proud of you. I love you. Love you too. I'm supposed to talk in a minute. I can't follow that. So <laughs> That's all right. I'm, I have to follow Lori all the time. That's never easy. Um, so... To, to echo what I said earlier, thank you to everyone here who's had a part in Michael's journey to this day, teachers included. Um, you know, it's not just in scouting, it, it's, it's outside of scouting, it's, it's all through life that Michael has had phenomenal role models and people to look, look up to and guide him. And, and um, I'm, I'm thankful that I've had the opportunity to be a part of that journey. Um, and Lori men mentioned the Dicers and I think back to that very first Tiger Cub meeting where we climbed up into the bell tower. And I think, my goodness, what that sparked. You know, we're standing here today as a result of, of that first meeting. You know, and, and it was a lot of fun, of course, climbing around on fire trucks and things like that with a little, with a little seven-year-old Michael. But uh, here we are. And, and I look here at rows of scouts that will also get to have those same experiences because of people like you. So thank you very much. Um, and I am also proud. He doesn't hear that from me very often, and he needs to hear it more. And I am very proud of, of the things that Michael has done and the person he's become. And I'm also very excited to find out what he's going to do. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, bud. Eagle Scout. In recognition of the wisdom and guidance given to you by your father, please present to him the fa Eagle Father's pin, which he will be proud to wear in your honor. And now in recognition of the many hours of patient guidance given by her in your efforts, will you, pl will you pin the eagle's mother, eagle mother's pin over your mother's heart? Eagle Scout, please escort your family back to their seats and then return to the front. You are now about to join the ranks of Eagle Scouts. Before doing so, however, we ask you to recommit yourself to scouting's essential principles. I would like to introduce Michael Greiner, who will now give the Eagle Scout charge. Would all Eagle Scouts in attendance please stand and form a line near the front, please. I have the honor to give you the Eagle Charge on the occasion of your elevation to the highest rank in scouting. 
The Scouts of all nations constitute one of the most wholesome and significant movements in the world's history. You have been judged by the Boy Scouts of America of being worthy of the highest rank in this great movement. All who know you rejoice in your achievement. Your position, as you know, is one of honor and responsibility. You are marked as a man. As an Eagle Scout, you have assumed a solemn obligation to do your duty to God, to country, to yourself, fellow Scouts, and mankind in general. This is a great undertaking. As you live up to your obligations, you bring honor to yourself and to your fellow Scouts. America has many good things to give you and your children, but these good things depend, for the most part, on the quality of her citizens. Our country has had a great past, and you can make the future even greater. I charge you, Michael Burris, to undertake your citizenship with a solemn dedication. Be a leader, but lead only toward the best. Lift up every task you do and every office you hold to the highest level of service to God and to your fellow man. So live and serve that those who know you will be inspired to finer living. We have too, too many who use their strengths and their brains to exploit others and to gain selfish ends. I charge you to be among those who dedicate their skills and ability to the common good. Build America on the solid foundation of clean living, honest work, unselfish citizenship, and reverence for God. And whatever others may do, you will leave behind a record of which every other scout may be justly proud. All Eagle Scouts in attendance, you will now rededicate yourself by repeating the Eagle Scout pledge. I, state your name, believe in the Boy Scouts of America as a movement which has as its aim and purpose character building and citizenship training. I believe it to be a movement that helps a scout become master of their own powers. Helps them get along with other people. And helps them find a worthy use for their powers. I therefore believe it is my duty to do my best to obey the scout oath and law. I hereby renew my faith in scouting and promise to do what I can in service to other scouts who have not come thus far along the Eagle Trail. You may take your seats. Thank you. Your conduct along the trail has been excellent. You have rededicated yourself to the principles of scouting, but one more thing is important, your future. As an Eagle Scout, you become a guide to other scouts of lower rank. You become an example in your community. Remember that your actions are now a little more conspicuous and people will expect more of you. To falter in your responsibility would not only reflect upon you, but on your fellow Eagles and scouting. The torch you carry is not only yours, but it is also ours. I challenge you to enter this Eagle family, holding every, ever before you, without reservation, the ideals of honor and service. By the repetition of the Eagle Scout promise before your fellow members, you will become an Eagle Scout. Though the words you use are similar to those by which you join scouting, they will mean more now than they could have meant at any time in the past. When you pledge yourself in your sacred honor, you will be sealing your eternal loyalty to the code of the Eagle Scout. With the words which close, which close the Declaration of Independence, scouts, parents, and guests, please stand. Eagle Scout Burris, please make the scout sign and repeat after me. I reaffirm my allegiance 
I reaffirm my allegiance to the three promises of the Scout Oath. To the three promises of the Scout Oath. I thoughtfully recognize. I thoughtfully recognize and take upon myself. And take upon myself the obligations and responsibilities. The obligations and responsibilities of the rank of Eagle Scout. Of the rank of Eagle Scout. On my honor. On my honor. I will do my best. I will do my best to make my training an example. To make my training an example. My rank and my influence. My rank and my influence. Count strongly. Count strongly. For better scouting. For better scouting. And for better citizenship. And for better citizenship. In my troop. In my troop. And in my community. And in my community. And in my contacts with other people. And in my contacts with other people. To this I pledge my sacred honor. To this I pledge my sacred honor. Two. In the witness of all scouts, scouters, parents, and guests here today, by the authority vested in me by the National Court of Honor of the Boy Scouts of America, it is my privilege and pleasure to pronounce you an Eagle Scout. May the oath you have taken remain engraved on your heart forever. Congratulations. At this time, I would offer Michael the opportunity to give his remarks and to present the mentor pin. Well, he said it best. It's not really that I need this, but as most of you have heard my voice, it's not exactly quiet. Um, I don't really know exactly what to say here. I kind of prepared mentally to say something and now it's all gone. Um, but first I'd like to say thank you to everybody for being here. Uh, some of my closest friends in the world, my family, all the scouts and my leaders, I appreciate you guys all for being here. Uh, it means a lot and um, sorry, let me try to bring back that train of thought. Um, <laughs> Uh, the best thing that I could really say while being up here is to you guys over here in this group, um, the scouts, I was kind of in a rough spot for a long time with the troop early on. I'm not going to go into much detail on that, but it wasn't always as good as you guys have come to know. Um, and I tried to quit oh so many times and now look at me so all I'm saying is I'm gonna give you two points stick with it and make sure you get your paperwork done before the week of your 18th birthday <laughs> I skipped the day of school to get that done so <laughs> um, not my best way of doing that but it, it got done so um, yeah sorry guys I think it was be, I think it was not the same year I had you guys though so we're all good um, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I just, there are some people here that I wish, or excuse me, that there are some people who, who aren't here that I wish could have been here. Um, and uh, a couple of those are past leaders who um, were uh, really important along my journey, uh, Mr. Austin and Mr. Cruson, um, Mr. Ayers. And, and, pro and probably more that I can't even think of right now, but um, they all had a huge uh, influence on me getting anywhere when I was kind of stuck in the mud. Mr. Austin, in a crude way, would always say, do I have to put the boot up your butt to get it going? <laughs> um, but it worked, it got me moving, so um, I'll take that out now, Mr. Austin. Um, <laughs> uh, but I just, I, there's a lot of people here that I want to thank too. So, and like sincerely, again, thank you guys for everything that you guys have done for me. So, um, and to the guy up here on the stage with me who had kind of, uh, 
he hadn't he didn't know to be as he could have been as involved and he was busy early on and then once he got involved it took a huge turn and my trail to eagle became a whole lot more enjoyable um, i don't really tell him much of this very often but um I'd say the guy up here, there's pretty much no question in anybody's mind that he's gonna be the mentor and I'm gonna present that to him. There's nobody, there's no question. I, I get it's supposed to be a surprise, but I already told you the other day by accident, so whatever. Um, <laughs> without my dad, I, I don't know where I would be doing, I wouldn't be up here, I promise you that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give the biggest thanks I got to you and give you the mentor pin now. So where is that, by the way? Okay. All right. Thank you all. On behalf of Troop 50, um, it's kind of a tradition that I've, I've started. I'm, I'm big into challenge coins. And um, this one says, once an eagle, always an eagle, and has the language of the promise that you just made in front of all these people, so they know about it, for you to carry with you and, and to remember what it means to be an eagle. So, congratulations. comes the fun part. Does anyone have any memories of Michael's journey to Eagle that you would like to share?
It's just the way you present it, man. <laughs> well, I, I remember this specific time. Uh, it was right before I started to like try to get a license for some music early. He, he, was, he, he came in and he was here and there, but like whenever he came in, he's like, Nick's running for it. He's like, oh, you got to leave. I want to see you as a leader. And I was like, ones to have your Eagle Scout ceremony. Yeah. cold out there. We were doing dishes with our hands, like our skin falling off from the cold, and we're just <laughs> scream singing, and he's singing back from two campsites over. <laughs> it was just, it was so joyful, like to let hear you sing, first of all, but then to get all of the scouts singing and not using the, you know, you weren't using your phone to listen to music, and you guys were just like, just really cutting loose and Sandman that night. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all very much for sharing. Okay. There's a there's a picture. Um, there's I'm sure there's plenty of them that you guys will see downstairs, but there's one in particular um, that was like I don't remember what year it was. That was probably my freshman year, I'd say, maybe eighth grade, something like that. Um, it was at Camp McKinley. It was the first time we ever built our own sled. And boy, did that thing take a lot of work to move. <laughs> maybe it was the second time, but whatever it was, we still weren't quite great at it yet. But uh, we built out this 
awesome sled and it had like um, it had like walls inside it was all tied together and somehow managed to survive a bunch of 12 year olds jumping all over and throwing stuff at it but um, I just remember seeing that picture recently and just being like holy cow that was so long ago um, but that was probably one of my favorite camp outs of all time and I know Eddie was there, so he can attest to that, him in the back right there, um, that that was a good one, but just stuff like that, that it's, it's, it, sometimes it's, it kind of comes back to me in pieces a little bit over like some of the stuff that I remember, but um, I just remember, I mean, I made multiple lifelong friends from Scouts, so if you guys aren't making friendships, you're doing something wrong when it comes to Scouts, man, I tell you what, um, but that's pretty much it, it's just, uh, Try to remember as much as you can. That's what I would say. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. You are all invited to remain for reception afterward at a meal following our benediction by Pastor John Partridge and Retirement of the Colors. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks. We give thanks for leaders and teachers who are willing to share their talents with another generation that comes behind. We give thanks for all those who came before us, who taught us and mentored us and led us. And we give thanks for a new generation of Eagle Scouts and others who have dedicated themselves to the principles of scouting. Throughout the Fortune 500 boardrooms, in the halls of Congress, in explorers, in NASA, and in other places, our world is led by many, like Michael, who are Eagle Scouts and who have been Scouts and Scouters. We look forward and we give thanks that we one day can safely turn over our world to a younger generation to take care of our nation and our world. We give thanks, O Lord, for all your gifts. These things we pray. Amen. One last important thank you to Lynn for giving up his time on a Sunday afternoon to be here to help with the sound and, and to record this event. So thank you very much, Lynn. I now declare this Eagle Scout Court of Honor closed. I ask the members of the court and all Eagle Scouts present to be the first to congratulate Scouting's newest Eagle Scout and the 118th Eagle Scout of Troop 50. Following this, everyone will have the opportunity to do so. Let's give Michael another very well-deserved round of applause. Senior Patrol Leader, please retire the colors. If everyone would please rise. Michael wants everybody to sing Trail the Eagle in the worst way. Start us off. No, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> it is your request. 
right? came out right when this the first time oh. it got pulled out. Yeah. 